Hi everyone and welcome to our newest computer vision related series. We're going to be exploring a few areas of computer vision. And to start off, we're going to be examining optical character recognition or OCR. What is OCR? Essentially, it's detecting and taking the text or characters that we can see in images, PDF files and other formats and detecting the characters accurately and extracting them. This becomes very handy and useful for a long list of operations and industries, such as creating databases for healthcare, insurance industries, object detection, integrating natural language processing algorithms into the text from OCR, and much more. We're going to have a lot of fun in this series, so let's jump right in and get started. In this video, since it's our first episode of the Computer Vision series with OCR, we need to download Anaconda since it's going to be the environment that we're going to be using to develop and we will need to create a new environment to get everything set up to run some library installations to get started. We're going to touch on a little intuition for one of the libraries we're going to use for OCR and then we'll wrap it up by running a quick demonstration of OCR. All right, let's jump right in. The first thing that you're going to want to do if you don't have Anaconda already set up on your machine is you want to navigate to the following website the anaconda.com slash download page, and you want to select the respective version for your operating system. So you either want, if you're on Mac, you want Linux, you want Windows, you can download and set up Anaconda for this distribution. Once you get it set up, I'm going to launch mine from the terminal. I already have a program running, but I'm going to set up, and we'll walk it through. Let's launch the Anaconda Navigator. You can also use the icon Anaconda Navigator if you're running it from the terminal or the Anaconda prompt. I'm going to let that load. Once you are in the Anaconda Navigator, I have an environment set up. We're going to be using an environment. I called mine OCR. You can really run or name the environment, whatever you want. So the first thing you want to do and how I created the OCR environment, you can create it from the command line if you're using the kind of commands, but you can also use the Anaconda Navigator. If you click on Create, Name your environment We're using Python 3.6 here. Name it, create it, finish the creation. You can then go into your environment. You can always install packages this way. But for the purpose of this, we need to install two main libraries to get started. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use the source, activate, and then the name of your environment. So mine would be OCR, and you would run that. If you are on Windows, you would just run activate OCR or the name in your environment. This will activate it and that will allow you to install the related libraries directly into this environment. It keeps it contained from the other environments. You see your base environment. If you have other environments set up, it will keep them contained within this specific environment. Now for our demo purpose, we need two libraries installed. We need Tesseract and PyTesseract. The Tesseract library is one of the main OCR related libraries by Google. It also acts as a command line interface. We're going to be running a short demonstration, so let's get them installed. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use the following command, the conda. Oh, let's activate this first, source activate OCR. We would want to use the conda install C conda forge tesseract. You would want to run that command to install tesseract. You can run that. I already have it installed. So I can run it. It should produce the requirement already satisfied. We also, if you are on Windows, you can use one of the following commands for your 64 bit or 32 bit machine on Windows. You can use the following commands to install the Tesseract OCR library for Windows. Once those are installed, since we're working with Python, we need that PyTesseract wrapper and we're going to be using pip. Normally, it's best if you try not to mix libraries if you don't have to, but sometimes they're not available in one distribution or the other between conda and pip. So we're going to be using the pip command, pip install pi tesseract. All right, I already have the requirements already satisfied in my OCR library. You can navigate and take a look. If you ever want to see what your library lists or what is installed, you can always use the command conda list and it will actually print out the installed libraries within your specific environment. You could also use pip list and it will also list them as well. Once you have those libraries installed, we can launch spider 
and we can start building a quick little demonstration to kind of get an idea of what OCR can do. Let's launch Spider. So in your Anaconda Navigator, if you need to set up or install Spider, it should come pre-built into Anaconda Navigator to install it. You can launch it. Make sure to activate your environment as well. Remember source activate or activate with the environment name. Then you can run the command in the terminal Spider to launch Spider. Also, you can set up a folder attached to this video. You can find the downloadable materials. We're going to work with two sample images, example two and the example. The first example, they are PNG images, and we're going to build a simple demonstration for OCR. The first thing we're going to need to do is import our libraries. So we're using Pillow. We need to import image. This was installed with Py, uh, excuse me. This was installed with Py Tesseract, and we also need to import Py Tesseract. The first thing we want to do is set up a demo for our demo images. We need to actually open image.open to open the images. And this is where you're going to pass the file location. I'm working in a folder. I recommend that you open a folder, create it um, CD into the location of the folder. You can navigate up here within spider. I was just calling my folder test for OCR and then you need to pass in the image name. So let's start with the example. So we'll pass in the example dot PNG. And now we actually want to create what we're doing. We want to extract the text from the image for OCR. So let's set our text equal to Pi Tesseract. And this is what something that you're going to see often with OCR. If you're using Pi Tesseract or Tesseract, we are going to be using the image to string. You can also click on that with the use of spider here. And we need to pass in the following parameters, our demo, since that's really what we're intending to extract here. And we need to specify a language for it. Language we'll be working with is English for the purpose of this series. We'll pass in the language as in English. Finally, what we want to do, because we're running this quick demonstration, we want to be able to print out the text over here in the console. So let's just print our text. We want it in parentheses. Remember, we're working with Python 3.6. And we're working with this first example PNG. So let's run this. As you can see, few lines of code here, very simple demonstration, but let's give it a run. And it should return. There we have it. And I'm going to bring up the file in a moment. But here you see that it is returning and extracting from the image the text on the image. If you want to launch the comparison, you can launch the file. We're working with the first example. So let me load it here. This is from a artificial intelligence handbook from one of our super data science courses, uh, AI A, A to Z. And you can see the accuracy on the text extraction. So let's run another comparison. Let's pass in our example underscore two. We actually want underscore here, underscore two dot PNG. I want to clear this just so we can make it a little more organized. Let me clear the console and we can run the extraction on this as well. So let's run it. This was a simpler file, so let's compare this as well. The example two, just an image I was working with. We can see the text extraction and this will let us essentially we're setting ourselves up because if we can extract the text, the data that we want, it's going to open many doors for us to work with further. So the goal here is to work with image formats, PNGs, PDFs. We want to be able to run computer vision related algorithms where we can use the computer to extract that data for us so that we can run further algorithms and processes off of that data. And we can see that we are returning the text, the following information from both of our files that we can then work with and use for other purposes. Also to clarify, so there's no misunderstandings here. If you are new to Python and spider and Anaconda environment, that's absolutely fine. So there's no confusion. I'm going to start over here just so you know where the files are coming from. So I would actually CD. I have a folder created. I will attach the folder that you can download for the purpose of this series. Always check the videos for links to files. We'll include the files, the scripts and the necessary information that we're working with. So I can CD into my test location here. I'm going to grab that and CD into it. I'm going to source activate. OCR. So that's going to activate my environment. And then I'm going to run spider. That is going to launch spider. You can also run Anaconda navigator here and then launch spider from that. But I want to go directly into spider. So to clarify any confusion, that's where I'm working here with these files. 
that we can run the script from. So just as a clarification for the location information, if you're already familiar with that, that is fantastic. Just for those of you who might not be too familiar working with Python, getting this set up, working within the spider development environment here. All right, we're going to wrap it up here for this video. I hope that you guys are ready to learn some really fun information. We're going to continue with OCR in the next video. If you have any questions for the series, please feel free to comment underneath the video. Any questions, ideas, uh, examples that you want to talk about related to OCR, we'd be more than happy to discuss them. That being said, also, please subscribe to the Super Data Science channel. It is a fantastic way to stay up to date with what's going on in the industry. Always some incredible information being examined with the podcast, the releases of our information. Just a great way to stay up to date. All right. I will see you guys in the next video.